I'm here with Kathy Pham, and she's the Health Data Advisor at the U.S. Digital Service in the White House. She's been one of the most excited attendees we have at this <laughs> conference today, tweeting up a storm. So we want to see what brought her here. Kathy, how are you doing? Good, good. So um, tell us why you came to this conference and what your goal was. Yeah, I um, have a love for healthcare. So I studied computer science, but have always had a deep interest in healthcare. I'm currently the health data advisor for the United States Digital Service at the White House. And um, a couple of the things we focus on are things like healthcare data interoperability, precision medicine, and figuring out how to get better care for patients um, in the United States and very specifically the Veterans Affairs as well. Um, and I, I'm in the Bay Area right now and I saw that this conference is going on and just want to come and learn from all the experts out here. And I know you've been tweeting about the conference all over the place. We're so excited about all your tweets. What are you most excited for? What presentations have really like spoken to you? Oh gosh, it's, that's a hard question. All of them, the, the genomics yesterday was really interesting and then we talked about mobile health, crowdsourcing. I can't really... I can't pick one. Um, there are topics that I thought I knew a lot about, and there are folks around here who've done way more in this space. How do you see big data playing a role in the future of healthcare? Oh, so big data will definitely play a role in the future of healthcare. The way I think of data um, is that we've been collecting all of this data for for so long, for many, many years. Whenever a patient comes into the hospital, we have data. Um, when people post about different things they've done to cure disease or to cure symptoms, that data exists somewhere, right? So we've been collecting all this data over time in so many different facets and so many different sources for so long. So now we have the opportunity, um, this huge slate to figure out what to do with all that data, how to better crowdsource, how to provide doctors with better decision-making mechanisms, um, how to target specific diseases for specific people. And you told me a little earlier that one of your goals was trying to get young people involved in medicine and data. Um, how do you think we do that? Well, first off, this is a really cool field. <laughs> and <laughs> so I studied computer science. Um, when I graduated, there was a huge dearth. I think there still is. Um, of computer scientists graduating and that's why companies like Google, um, Amazon, Twitter, Facebook all having a hard time really finding great talent. Um, so there's a dearth there and then finding that mesh of people interested in computer science and healthcare is hard as well and it's so needed. Um, almost everything we have now is digital or technical. Um, if kids grow up and this is part of their their world, right? They play with iPads. Um, now doctors are using iPads every day in, in the field. Um, so it's a really, really interesting area. It's not going anywhere. Big data is not going anywhere. Healthcare technology isn't going anywhere. Um, we just need more people to get interested in it and join us and solve some of the hardest, most exciting problems that we have. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Young people out there, get involved in big data, get involved in healthcare. Um, thank you so much, Kathy. For Big Data, this is Marin Shapiro.